configuring an open virtual private network server on a MikroTik router can be a complex task, especially for beginners with limited experience in networking. In this video I will show how to set up the open virtual private network server on your MikroTik router from a command line quickly and easily, and how to connect to it using an open virtual private network client. Secure shell into a MikroTik router. Create certificates. Open virtual private network is based on transport layer security and secure sockets layer technology in which a server and clients can verify each other's identities using certificates. To set up the MikroTik Open Virtual Private Network Server you should generate the following certificates. Certificate Authority A master, root, certificate that will be used to sign server and client certificates. Clients receive a copy of the public part of the Certificate Authority Certificate to verify the validity of the server certificate. The server in its turn verifies the validity of the client certificates. Server provides the proof of identity for the server and what the open virtual private network daemon runs on. The private key and public key stay on the server and the server sends the public key to clients for identity purposes. Client, a private key and public key generated for each new user account. The client has a copy of its private key and the public key that is in the connection profile. The public key is sent to the server for identity purposes. So, to create a certificate in MikroTik. Firstly it is required to create a certificate template that will be automatically removed right after the certificate is signed. The time of the key signing process depends on a certificate key size. And the CPU power of a MikroTik router. Create the certificate authority key pair. Create the open virtual private network server key pair and sign it with the certificate authority key. Create the open virtual private network client key pair and sign it with the certificate authority key. For each open virtual private network client it is recommended to create an individual key pair to avoid an impact on the other users if one of the private keys is compromised. To list the certificates. Configure Open Virtual Private Network Server. Create a pool of IP addresses for Open Virtual Private Network clients. Configure and start the Open Virtual Private Network Server. DNS Server equals 192.168.99.1. Configures the Microtic Router to be also a DNS server for the Open Virtual Private Network clients. Port equals 443. Starts the open virtual private network server on the port 443, by default 1194, to avoid an internet service provider from detecting and blocking the virtual private network traffic. Enable a dynamic DNS service to connect to the open virtual private network server by a permanent domain name. Very useful when your internet service provider provides a dynamic IP address that changes periodically. If you get the warning. Router is behind a network address translation. Remote connection might not work. You should configure a port forwarding on an internet service provider's router which your MikroTik router is connected to. For this, log into the internet service provider's router through a user interface. And configure the port forwarding in the network address translation settings. For example, as follows. If the internet service provider's router issues a dynamic IP address to your MikroTik router, it is better to go to DHCP settings and make it static. To get the IP and MAC addresses of the MikroTik's interface connected to the internet service provider's router, usually Ether1, execute. Configure firewall. The firewall rules that have to be created should be moved above the drop rules. Otherwise you will get the connection reset. Restarting minus one inch error while trying to connect to your open virtual private network server. List the firewall rules and note a number of the drop all not coming from LAN rule. In the example it is 5. Create firewall rules to allow incoming connections to the virtual private network server and to allow open virtual private network clients from the 192.168.99.0/24 network to access a LAN. 
By default, 192.168.88.0/24. And the Mikrotik router itself, to use it as a DNS server and to be able to log into it. Replace X and X plus 1 according to the number of the drop all not coming from LAN rule. 5 and 6 respectively, in my case. The resulting order of the firewall rules in my case looks like as follows. Configure open virtual private network client. Export the CA certificate and client keys. Generated earlier, copy to the files folder on the Mikrotik router from which they can then be downloaded. Mikrotik doesn't allow to export a private key without protecting it with a passphrase. Fortunately the passphrase can be removed using the open SSL and I will show how to do this in the later steps. To list the exported files. Copy the exported files from the Mikrotik router to your computer. Alternatively, you can download the files from the Winbox interface by going to the Files menu. After copying the CA certificate and the client key pair to the computer, I prefer to rename them to CACRT, Client1.CRT and Client1.Key respectively. Remove the passphrase from the client's private key using the OpenSSL. As the OpenSSL is not installed on a Windows system by default, you may receive the following error. Unfortunately there is no official version of the OpenSSL for Windows but it is easy and secure to use the one that comes with a Git for Windows. Once you have installed the Git for Windows, you can run the OpenSSL command by providing the full path to the executable. In the Mikrotik router, create an open virtual private network user and set the password. Download and install the open virtual private network client. Change the current directory to usrprofiley backslash open virtual private network backslash config. Create if doesn't exist, and copy the CACRT, client1.crt and client1.key files into it. Create a file with the open virtual private network user credentials. Create an open virtual private network client configuration file. The final content of the USR Purifyly backslash openvpn backslash config folder should look like as follows. Connect to the open virtual private network server. Right click on an open virtual private network graphic unit interface tray icon and select connect. If everything is all right, the virtual private network connection will be established. The Mikrotik open virtual private network server configuration is done. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Your support means a lot. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Until next time, take care.